to stand in line to get an interview with Andreo Junto from uh, Hyperbolic Software, and he's going to show us Tidy Up. What is what problem does Tidy Up solve? Tidy Up is a duplicate finder. It allows you to go through your computer and find all the double files that you actually you don't need, and you can search anywhere in your computer, any external hard hard drive and also in the iTunes, iPhoto, Mail, and Aperture libraries. Oh my gosh, I so need that because I have everything syncing around and I end up with two of everything by the time I'm done in Aperture. So you can decide to search in more than one location. You can also choose to search just in a specific folder in your hard disk. So uh, TidyUp is provided with um, a lot of predefined searches, mostly simple searches, such as um, such as iPhoto um, duplicates, iTunes duplicates, or just movies, PDFs, text files, or just any kind of file. Okay, great. So, Do you want to show us something? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, so he's got the uh, tidy up window open here. Okay, so here you have all the locations where you can search. And if you want to add the folder, you just need to drag it. And so you he's can got the left sidebar, you just drag the folder in. Yes. And here you have all the locations, I mean all the searches. So these are sort of like presets. Yes, exactly. They are presets. And there are some for photos, uh, songs, applications. And here you have text files, emails, movies, PDFs, or just any kind. You can always switch to the advanced mode and create your own search here oh, you holy have, cow there's about 900 options now yeah you have a lot of criteria some specific for music like artist album some specific for photos like exif data like location taken or uh, date taken and then you have some criteria that are general for any kind of file such as items name or you can say to compare this, the files by content so you're sure they are real duplicates. You won't check the name. You will care just about the files. You will compare them byte by byte. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Yes. And so you can also decide to limit from here the search to cer certain types of um, files, just such as uh, Photoshop documents, for example. You can choose any application you want. So a lot of filters to make sure you're not going through too much data. Exactly. That's exactly the purpose. So, for example, I'll choose to search for duplicate photos um, in iPhoto. I choose the content only search. So, I'm sure that the duplicates are real duplicates. It automatically chooses the um, iPhoto library. So, now I'm going to run through 8,000 pictures. That's it, done. Holy cow, that was really fast. And the file names are not the same. Yes. Uh, looks like the sizes and kilobytes is, are identical. Is it using, uh, is that what it's using? It's using the content. So it just compared the files byte by byte. That's impossible. <laughs> it actually is possible. <laughs> so when you select an item, you can see both the location path and all the information and also a preview. You can also see the items is a grid. So okay. in case you don't trust you, your algorithm, you yeah, can look right. at it and go, no, that really is the same thing. Now, what about dispatching and getting rid of the duplicates well, at that point? If you don't care where the items are, you just need to select the all but one item basket and trash the content. That's it. So it will keep just one copy. So if it were, if you have a big giant slop of, of stuff in iPhoto, you wouldn't yeah. care. Yeah, but if you're yeah. anal like me and you have them in all kinds of weird folders, you might want to yeah. do something a little more rigorous. So, yes, of course. So what you can do is create a smart basket. And here you have a lot of options to tell the software what kind of um, files you want to gather in this in this basket. So you can always say, okay, put here all but one, so you're always sure you're keeping at least one copy. And then you say, okay, you might want to keep all the files that you have in a folder. You might want to keep the copy, the copies that are in that folder. So what you can do is you can tell the software to put in this new basket all the items that are not in the location you choose, okay? 
So you delete all the copies that are not in that folder or multiple folders if you so choose. Let's one. say I had a bunch of pictures in a folder called Macworld 2014, but I end up with some project full of duplicate photos because of I've synced up through Google Plus and God knows how else I've done it. Yeah. I could say if it's not in Macworld 2014, throw it away. Yes, exactly. Wow, this is really, really cool. So how much does Tidy Up cost? It's $30. And for the show, we are, well, it's not really useful, so. <laughs> That's okay. For the show, for me, what is it? <laughs> for the show, we are giving both Tidy Up and Quick Print for $34.25. And we also give a free USB thumb drive. <laughs> All right, that's fun. So, but for people listening, thirty dollars is it in the Mac App Store? Um, no, it's not available on the Mac App Store, but it's on our website. Yeah, usually, the really, really interesting utilities are are not yes. able to be in the App Store. I get that. If yes. you're deleting files, I think they don't let you have it yeah. in the App Store. So, if they wanted to uh, find this online, what's the website? You can read it. Sorry. Okay, hyperbolicsoftware.com, and the product is called Tidy Up. Tidy. Thank you so much, Andrea. Fantastic product. Thank you very much.